Right, it's uh, six o'clock, so let's get ourselves going for tonight's stretch class, nice and simply. Find a bit of space, um, and we're just going to start off holding on to our stretchy bands. And let's start off standing up nice and tall, feet hip width apart, nice and relaxed through the arms, and let's go for some nice big shoulder rolls, bringing those shoulders forwards, up towards the ears, back and down. And just keep that going in one direction there, guys. Lovely. And then let's take those shoulder rolls in the opposite direction, bringing those shoulders forwards. Brilliant. And then let's let those arms hang heavy. And then look over to your left shoulder. As you let these arms hang heavy, take your chin to your chest. Look over your right shoulder. And let's just keep repeating there. Nice big stretch down through the side of the neck. Bringing your chin to your chest and looking over the other way. Apologies as I keep coming to the laptop just to let in anyone who's joining. Good, and finish by looking ahead there. Okay, holding on to our stretchy band or whatever we're using instead, let's take our arms up nice and high, legs out nice and wide, and let's pull ourselves down to the left hand side and really use that left arm to pull yourself over further. Two, one, let's go up and over. And then down to the right, pulling yourself down with that right arm. Brilliant. Two. And the one, let's come back over to the left, going a little further. Three. Two. And the one. And then down to the right, holding there for three. Two. One. Very nicely done. Okay, from here, holding on to our stretchy band or our towel, let's take those arms up nice and high and reach back behind us. Pause for a moment, and then take those arms back up overhead and just mobilizing through the shoulders, through the upper body. Keep repeating slowly. Good. And then let's just hold that behind at the point where you find the greatest stretch. Nice big deep breaths. Lovely. And come up overhead, and then let's throw that band out the way and away from there. Okay, let's take our legs out nice and wide. Okay, nice and simply, let's just relax the spine, chin to your chest, and reaching over one vertebrae at a time, reaching down towards the ground, and look back between the legs behind you. Good. And just gently here, rock your body up and down. Great work. Gradually try to loosen your body, relax into that stretch, let your head and your neck, your shoulders hang, and then just walk your hands over towards the left foot. Wonderful. Hands over towards your right foot. Brilliant. Let's come back centrally. Take those hands in front. Walk those hands back through the gap behind your legs. Come back centrally again. Take your feet a twist wider, and then walk the hands over to the right hand side. Back to the middle, over to the left hand side. Back to the middle, hands going forward slightly, and then hands going back behind you. And slowly take yourselves back up from there. Okay, standing up tall, keeping those legs wide. Let's just take those feet one turn inwards. And then from here, we're going to drop down onto one leg. Okay, keeping the foot flat under the bent knee, coming down low, pausing, keeping that heel flat. Let's push up. And let's go down the other way. Down nice and low, keeping the heel flat under the bent knee. Pause. Come up. And let's do that again to the opposite side, seeing if we can get a little lower. And just here, see if you can shift your weight through the ball of your foot and back into the heel of the foot. The ball of the foot into the heel. And then take yourselves up tall, down the other way. Keeping the foot flat throughout, just let the weight move into the ball of the foot, into the heel, ball of the foot, into the heel, 
bum centrally, take yourself up nice and tall from there and take those feet all the way in. Okay, thinking about a little balance, let's stand onto the left leg, take the right foot to the left knee, and then from there, lean forwards and reach down towards the ground, stretching through our right glute. Okay, obviously hold on to the wall beside you if you need to for your balance. Good, and let's hold that there on the one leg for three, two, and the one. Let's take it back up, find our balance onto the opposite leg, take the foot or the ankle to the knee, bend the standing knee, leaning over and stretching nicely into that glute. And let's hold that there for five, for four, three, two, one. Ease that off and take ourselves up nice and tall. Let's find our balance onto one leg again. And this time just go for the ankle, bringing that heel into the bum, a nice simple quad stretch here. And as we do that, try and keep your hips square so your hips are facing forwards. Heel in towards the bum. See how close you can get the heel to the bum. Keep the knees together at the front. And then try and squeeze into your glutes to increase that stretch. Okay, from here, if you're feeling balanced, let's lean over. Pull that leg up behind us. And stretch nicely in through that standing hamstring at the same time. For three, two, and the one, and then release that stretch there. Let's take ourselves up onto the other foot, find our balance, get hold of the heel or the ankle on the other side, bring the heel into the bum and the knees together, squeeze into your glutes as you push those hips forwards. And only if and when you're feeling balanced, we can extend, leaning forwards, pulling that leg up behind us, and just hold that there for five, four, three, two, and one. Taking that up from there, shake that leg out. Very nicely done. Okay, let's take our feet to the back of our mat on the back, the back of the space we're working through. Shoulder rolls forwards, chin to your chest, one vertebrae at a time, reaching down, and keep walking those hands away from there. Bum up into the air and start marching. One heel down into the ground at a time. Wonderful. Let's push that right heel down. Take the back or the foot over the back of that right heel as we really push the head through the gap in the shoulders, bum up in the air and keeping that right leg straight as we try and push the heel down into the floor. Great. Two, one, let's swap those feet over, push the left heel down, right foot over the back of the heel, bum up into the air. Very nicely done. Four, three, two, and the one. Okay, let's take ourselves forwards all the way into our press up position. And then from there, let's take our right knee towards the right wrist and take ourselves into our pigeon stretch. So our right knee is up close to the right wrist, the shin is diagonally, release the rear knee and the foot down, and then sink down onto your forearms and just lower your torso down as you stretch nicely through that right glute. Slowly take your torso down further and further. See if you can wiggle the back foot back by a millimetre or two. See if you can take your arms, your torso forwards as you get closer to the floor. All the while, nice big deep breaths as you enjoy that stretch through the right glute. Great. Okay, we're going to take the stretch a little further. Feel free to stay as you are if you're already feeling that's quite sharp. We're going to take ourselves up. We'll put the right fist in front of that right shin by the knee. Bend the rear leg, getting hold of the ankle, pulling the heel in towards the bum. Shoulders pulled back, looking ahead, and then extending and reaching forwards only if you're feeling balanced and stable. For three two, and the one. Let's take that arm down, 
release the leg behind us, bum back up into the air, marching one heel into the ground at a time. Good, three, two, one. Let's take the left knee towards the left wrist, shin diagonally across the body, relax the back knee and the back foot down behind us, and drop down onto your forearms. Great work. Nice big deep breath in, exhale, taking yourselves over a little further, wiggling that back foot back, wonderful. Okay, if we want to take this stretch further again, just like we did on the other side, we can take the torso up, left fist in front of the left shin, bending that rear leg, getting hold of the ankle, Pulling the heel in towards the bum, looking ahead and extending if you're feeling balanced and stable. Three, two, and the one. Release slowly and take your bum up into the air, marching those heels down into the ground once more. Three, two, and the one. Okay, let's take ourselves down into a kneeling position. Relax the tops of the feet into the ground and sitting in this all fours position here. Drop your belly button, bum up in the air, look ahead. Great, think about pulling your shoulders away from your ears as you look ahead. And then let's go the opposite, chin to your chest. Look between your knees, belly button to the sky. And repeating, going from one extreme to the other. Brilliant. And repeating. Okay, let's take ourselves to a nice flat position in the back. Put the back of your left hand into the floor and reach away, dropping the left shoulder and the ear down. And just look over your right shoulder as you hold this position there. Three, two, and the one. Let's take ourselves up. Put the back of the right hand down, dropping the right shoulder and the ear to the floor. And look over the left shoulder. Brilliant. Take ourselves up, take those hands a big step forwards and then push your hips forwards into the floor and push out through the palms of the hands, bringing the shoulders back, down your body as you look up and ahead and lower yourself down into the floor. Take your hands back by an inch or two, elbows either side of the rib cage. push up again, squeezing those elbows into the body, gripping the rib cage. Good, let's come down again. Let's take those hands back by another millimetre. And repeat. And now push the tops of the feet into the floor, lift the thighs, looking up. Three, two, one. Bum up into the air. Sit your bum down onto your heels behind you, reaching forwards, letting your head, your chest come as close to the floor as we can. Close your eyes and take some nice big deep breaths. Walk the hands over towards the left hand, the left side, and then walk the hands over towards the right side. Hands coming centrally. Great, let's take ourselves up. Tall now into a kneeling position. From a kneeling position, let's take our right foot forwards and take ourselves into a lunge. Okay, let's make this lunge quite a short lunge. Okay, so if you had a normal lunge, bring your front, front foot back by a millimetre or two. And now rest your weight into your front knee. And now just try and drive that knee forwards, keeping your heel of the front foot down. Okay, so we're looking just to drive that knee forward so we feel the stretch in the base of the calf or at the top of the Achilles. And just ease into that rocking forwards See how far you can push your knee forwards, keeping the front heel down. And just pulse into that. See how 
far. You can take that stretch, often an area that gets really tight for runners. And now just start moving the knee inwards and outwards. Ever so slight rocks left and right. And relax, let's take ourselves up. Okay, now we'll take that foot forwards into a slightly longer lunge. Tuck your tailbone under and exhale as you push your hips forward, stretching through your left hip, hip flexor. Inhale as you ease off, exhale as you really push and drive forwards. And with each big exhale, try and take yourself further into that stretch. Let's hold it forwards as far as we can here. Lift up your left arm, lean over to your right hand side. Wonderful. Okay, take that left arm down, take the left arm to the outside of the right knee and twist around to the right hand side, looking over your right shoulder. Okay, let's twist the other way. Right hand inside the right knee. Push the right knee away from center. Twist around to your left. Great work. Facing forwards. Okay, throw both the arms up into the air. Push the hips forwards. Look up at the sky. Three, two, and the one. Ease that off. Let's take the hands inside or just to the left of that right foot. Tuck the toe under of your rear leg and then straighten your left rear leg. Lift your right arm up. Make a straight line through your shoulders and take that right arm down. Let's do that again. Right arm up. Taking that down. Three more. Lovely. Two more. The last one to come. Wonderful. And release that rear knee to the floor. Relax the foot of that rear foot. And then come up, straightening your front leg and reaching forwards as you raise the toes of that front leg, sitting the bum back, stretching well into the hamstring. Brilliant. The three. Two, and the one. Ease out from there, and let's come back into our kneeling position again. When you're ready, let's take the left foot forwards. A short lunge, weight into the front knee, keeping that heel down, drive the knee forwards. Use your weight through the knee to try and stretch nicely into that front calf. Great work, rocking forwards, keeping that front heel down, stretching into the calf, and then gently take that foot coming in to the middle and ever so slightly out wide. Great, three, two, and the one. Let's take ourselves up. Slightly longer lunge. From here, tuck the tailbone under, Breathing in, and as you exhale, push the hips forwards, keeping the shoulders back. And repeating. With each exhale, try and push yourself a little further into that stretch. <sighs> Wonderful. Really looking to feel that stretch coming through the right hip flexor. Good, let's go once more. <sighs> okay, holding these hips forwards here. Lift the right arm and lean over to your left side. Wonderful. Take that right hand down to the outside of your left leg and twist around to your left side. Look over your left shoulder. Great. Let's go the other way. Let's take the left hand to the inside of that left knee. Pushing that left knee away from centre, twist around to your right. Wonderful. Face forwards. Drive the hips forwards, two arms up to the sky, and look up. Three, two, 
One, let's take those hands inside of the foot, just to the right of that left foot. Tuck the toe under of your rear leg and straighten the leg. And then we're going to lift the left arm up five times. Trying to keep that rear leg as straight as we can as we repeat slowly through each rep here. Two more. The last one. And let's take it down, relax the knee, relax the foot, and slowly straighten that front leg. And as we do, we're sitting the bum down, reaching forwards for the foot in front of us. Excellent. For three, two, one, and let's walk ourselves back up and then all the way back onto our front from there. Take your arms out wide and let's take the right heel over towards the left hand, keeping the hands into the floor. Back onto your front, left foot over towards your right hand. And keep repeating there. See how close you can get the foot to the hand with each rep. Great one for mobilizing through the spine. Once more to either side. Wonderful. Okay, from there let's take ourselves up onto our bum. And let's keep our stretchy band or our towel or whatever we're using nearby. Okay, nice and simple. Let's sit with one leg out straight. Let's go for our left leg out straight and then take our right foot inside the thigh. Okay, here we can use our stretchy band to wrap that around the sole of the foot. Okay, and pull ourselves over. If you're stretchy enough, you may well be able to reach onto the foot and ditch the stretchy band. If not, just keep holding your stretchy band to pull yourself over. And then with our right hand, we can try and drive our right knee lower while keeping that stretch out towards the left side. Three, two, and the one. Ease that off. And let's swap those legs. Right foot up nice and long. Left foot inside the thigh. Stretchy band to help you. Pull yourselves over. If you can, you can ditch the band. And then with your left arm, let's try and push that knee down in towards the floor. Fantastic. Three, two, and the one. Okay, from there, let's take the two feet into face one another and try to bring those heels as close as we can towards our hips and then drive these knees down wide with our elbows. Let the knees come back in, relax, and then again, try to drive those knees as wide as you can with the elbows and puff the chest out, bring the shoulders back. Three, two, and the one. Fantastic. Okay, from here let's take ourselves down onto our back. Again, keep that stretchy band nearby. Take the arms out wide. 90 degree bend in the knee, 90 degree bend in the hips. And here push your lower back flat. So you've got a straight line from your top of your skull through to the tip of your tailbone. You can't feel an arch in your lower back, you're pushing the lower back flat. And now take both the knees over to your right side. Keeping the shoulders down. Great. Relax here. Nice big deep breaths. And then up to the middle. Over to the other side. Lovely. Coming up to the middle, and relax. 
Okay, we're going to straighten our left leg down into the floor, keeping that right knee bent and up in the air. With your left arm, reach for the outside of that right knee and pull that over to the left side. So you're keeping your right shoulder down as you pull that right knee over to your left. So looking to stretch both through the glute and the lower back. Great work. See how close you can get that knee, that shin to the floor while keeping your right shoulder down. Great. Two. One, let's come up, let's do the same the other way. Left arm out wide, right leg straight, left leg bent, right hand to the outside of the left knee. Let's pull that over to the right, keeping the left shoulder down. And this could be a really good way for you to work out where's tight in your body. Are you noticing more of the stretch into the glute here or through the back and the core? So I'm feeling this a bit more through my glute, which is going to tell me maybe I should stretch my glutes more. If you're feeling this more through your lower back, it's an indicator that you should stretch your lower back more and vice versa. And then the same, we should always listen out for differences between the left and right. If maybe the left is tighter than the right, we need to make sure we bring those sides as close to one another as possible. Great, take that leg back up. Okay, relax the left leg flat into the floor, lift the right leg up to the sky, and wrap your stretchy band or your towel around your right leg. Nice and simple, let's just pull that leg over with two arms, keeping a very subtle bend in the knee, head and shoulders relaxed down, pulling that leg over as best as we can. Wonderful. Take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale, pull that leg over further. Hold it there. Good. All right, we're going to take this stretch a little further. Let's pass this into the right hand, left arm out wide, and then we'll slowly take the leg out wide to the right hand side, keeping the left shoulder and the left hip down into the floor. A three, two, one. Let's come back up into the middle. Pass that into the left hand, right arm out wide, and pull the leg all the way over to the left, keeping the right shoulder down, but do let that right hip lift up. Three, two, and one. Back up into the air. Two arms pulling that leg over as much as you can. Three, two, one. Let's swap those legs over. Right leg down into the floor, left leg pulling that over as much as we can. Start off gentle and gradually as you find the body relaxing, you look to pull that leg over more. Nice big deep breath in. Exhale and let's pull it over more. Hold it there. Keep breathing through it. And again, another big deep breath in. Exhale, let's pull that in. Wonderful. Pass that into the left hand. Right arm out wide. Take the leg out wide to the left hand side. Keeping the right shoulder and the right hip down. Wonderful. And back up to the middle position into the right hand. Left arm out wide. Pull that leg all the way across the body. Let the left hip lift up. Do keep that left shoulder down. Three, two, and the one leg back up to the middle. Once more, pull that over as much as you can. Three, two, one. Relax that leg down. Throw your band out the way, reach out long with your fingertips, with your toes, make yourself as long and as tall as you can. Flare your ribs, reaching long, and then relax and flop, sink heavy into the floor. Take a few nice big deep breaths. When you're ready, roll yourselves over onto your front. And from here, we're going to take ourselves up. Bum 
up into the air, walk those hands back slowly towards your toes, rock up and down, swing round side to side, touching behind the shins, behind the heels, fluffy through the head, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, slowly take ourselves coming up one vertebrae at a time, shoulder rolls coming back as we get up nice and tall, take the arms out nice and wide, reaching up high, up onto the toes, three, two, one, take it down, shake out the arms, shake out the legs, give yourselves a nice big round of applause, I hope you all enjoyed that, uh, next week we'll be back with a yoga with Torsi, um, if anyone's got any running questions or wants to say hi, please stick around and say hi, otherwise thanks for coming guys and have a lovely evening. Thanks Ben, cheers. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. You're very welcome guys, have a lovely, uh, lovely evening and uh, enjoy your week of running ahead. Thank you, bye-bye. You're welcome, bye. see you later.